baby's toy. Now the real fidget spinner. Yes. So here's our fidget spinner. It's made in China like everything here in America. It's white. It's white with the black metal pieces in it. I think it goes like this. It feels so nice on your hand. The urge is going on it. And people in my class do like this, so like you can still write with your pencil. But it's hard. Oh, and it's glow in the dark. I wanna try Dawn, it. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. There you go, Kingdom. Some people in my class they only do it with one finger. I'm like, how can you do that? So guys, um, me and Kittle have been thinking, what would it will it still work if we glue glitter on it? Comment down below. Or if you think it'll work or it won't. And what will be your favorite color for your fidget spinner if you don't if you don't have one? Or if you do right now? I think it would be blue. I would like a light blue too. With like with like white clouds on it. Here it is. It's um white with um black rims in it. Rings. And it's smooth right here, so your fingers can go on it. And right here is a little bit more tough than this part. Probably because it has to spin and it has to hold these. And it's a stronger material, you can tell. It probably depends on the plastic because um, since this is like glow in the dark plastic, it's probably going to be a little darker than the middle piece. If you turn off the lights in the middle of the night, um, you would see that it's glowing. This is what it looks like when it's going. Wait until it glows in the dark at night and it probably will look so cool when it's spinning. And it feels really nice on your hand, did I, did I say that? Because it's really nice. Like all the air is going right here. And it kind of looks like a drone when it's doing this. Like, or like a F UFO, UFO. It's like, come close. Don't you try to do it with one finger. Okay. You do it with these two fingers so there's a large enough gap. You see? So oh. you like this? People in my class like try to like pop it to one hand to the other hand with it still spinning. So I'm gonna try to do that. No. Oh, so close! Yeah, it's not gonna happen because we just got ours. Yeah, we we're still trying practice. to practice. I'm still practicing doing this. Like just practicing doing the normal thing with a fidget. Yes, yeah, I, I like that. Now, since we've played with this one a little bit, Let's move on to our next fidget. Now we're gonna be trying our fidget cube. Okay, another person in my class has one of these, and I've actually seen one in person. Okay, here's the box, it's a square. And it says cube, and it's gray, and it's nice. And there's even like a collector's guide on it. This is like one, two, and three. And it's like really nice. And now we're gonna be opening the amazing fidget box. Fidget cube. <laughs> fidget I call it the fidget, <laughs> fidget box. <laughs> okay. um, here's the top. It's just cloth plastic. And then, oh, is there instruction? We don't need those. Um, but dun, dun. we have our fidget cube. Fidget cube. It's so cool. There's like different things you can do on it, like spin this, flick this. Push on this. It kind of reminds me of a dice. Like because of this part. Can I try it? It's just so satisfying to hear all the noises. Okay, on this little paper, it isn't instructions, but it tells you what all these little parts do. Um, first, this blank side. Um, it says, say goodbye to stress. The design of the face is inspired by traditional words those tools used to reduce anxiety when rubbed. 
So it's a very softer material, softer than the other side, and it kind of feels like cashmere clothing. Okay, let's go to feel. That's very soft. soft. I don't know if it would get your stress away, but it's so And it looks like the ball is the only clear thing on it. And it actually feels really nice if you do all of them together. Now it's Kendall's turn. So I'm going to um, roll this around in for a little bit and see if I can start to be able to push this down. <laughs> and when you roll these, it feels really good on your finger because uh, for a little bit it's smooth and then it goes into rough. So Mackenzie, you can have it back. Um, this would definitely um, cause more stress because it's like, doesn't really spin very well. But it is smooth, almost as smooth as this side. And it has this bump on it, which kind of makes it easier to spin, but not as much spinny. It's kind of just like stuck there. And you have to like use some of your strength, but if it was not stuck, I think it would be a good fidget and a good stress reliever, but not on this one. I that one. So I feel like if you just put your hand up, your finger on the smooth one, it just goes really, really fast. But not as fast as the fidget spinner. It would be like a fidget spinner if it was way faster. But I like it. See? Mine's this like clicky one because it reminds me of an on and off switch on like your house, in your house. For like your ceiling fan or something and it's like very satisfying and i think this would be more stress relieving but i wouldn't do it in school because it's a little bit annoying the reason why i like it is because i like to i like um to push it down because it's it'll go down and i like to move it around okay now we're going to say our favorites and why they're favorites um i would say mine's um, the fidget spinner, just because you can get into different varieties, you can get big ones, you can get more than just three rims and stuff, and it's just because how it feels on your skin, like it's more stress relieving and less sound than the fidget cube. Um, I like the fidget spinner better because you can do it with one finger, you can do it with two, or you can even try with three. Or you can just do it on right here if you try and practice a lot. I mean, I haven't tried before, but um, I'm gonna give this back to me. I would say this would be better like if you're at camp or something, and like, like um, or like before a softball game or whatever sport you're in and you're just like i hope i win and just get all the stress out because if you have stress while you're doing a game your um bones and your body can just lock up and you can just fall to the ground and just cry because all the stress so the reason why i recommend it not being like at school is because it's way too noisy like all the sides have a noise point to it like if Except you, the soft side. If you do this, it's a little bit noisy. This side. <laughs> it's a little bit noisy. I wouldn't recommend you ever bring it to school. Like just to show your friends once. Or they can come over to your house. But please, do not bring it to school twice. Your teacher might be really, really mad at you. It's definitely gonna drive your teacher nuts. Yes. I feel like you should have a chance, like feeling both of them, just to see what you like. And they're both the same price, so it's not a big deal if you pick one over the other one, just because you think, oh, this one looks better. But they're the same price, so it's it's good. It's good. And um, that means basically like eight dollars a piece. And if you have like two $10 bills in your backpack or something, 
or in your like little purse or something. It's not, it's, to me it's not expensive, but people in my family think $30 are expensive. And I, I, I don't know, like, I'm just a child, so confused. <laughs> I am more confused by my sister over here looking like a creepy snake. Yeah, so, I hope you guys get to try both of them out. And you can even, like, make your own with household items you probably already have, like, water bottle lids, glue guns, nuts, and things. And even if you have, like, well, it wouldn't work, basically. But if you just, like, want to make one for, like, a model to put on a shelf or something, you can even make it out of air-dried clay and stick nuts in it. Or something like that. But... And the possibilities are endless. You can decorate them if you want to. You can make them your own. Like, you can make your, like, um, like, if, like, let's say you ever saw, like, Britney Spears walking down the mall or something, and you have your fidget spinner and there's a Sherpie or something, she could sign it. It could be like one of your own Britney Spears mashup spinner. Comment down below what would be your favorite color on a, on a fidget toy, or, um, yeah, on a fidget toy, and would it, if a spit, what would, do you think if a fidget spinner would work if it had glitter on it, or sequins, or jewels? And what should we unbox next? More stress toys, stress balls, kind of open squishies, or something like that? Just give us more comments! And please let us know. Bye guys! Have a Have wonderful a day. day! Bye Funky Monkeys! Funky Monkeys! You guys might have seen me being weird. Hey Funky Monkeys! Thanks for watching our videos. To subscribe, please click up here. To watch more vlogs, click up here. And to watch yesterday's video, click right over here. Again, you can always find us on social media under Totally Bananas TV on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Musical.ly. Thanks, Funky Monkeys. Bye!